We salute Fred Taylor and his Ohio State team, the NCAA basketball champions of 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, two weeks from tonight will be exactly 60 years since the Buckeyes defeated the defending NCAA national champion and number one ranked University of California Bears for the 1960 NCAA title at the Cow Palace in San Francisco. The Buckeyes won the championship game 75 to 55, marking the largest margin of victory in an NCAA final, a record that stood for 30 years. The 1960 Buckeyes are still considered one of the top 25 teams in NCAA history. Every player in the team managed by the 1960 team earned an Ohio State degree. Three of those Buckeyes went on to become doctors. There were three All-Americans and six NBA draft selections. Head coach Fred Taylor and three of his players from that 1960 team have been elected into the National Basketball Hall of Fame. The Big Ten Conference awarded three 1960 Buckeyes. The Big Ten Conference Medal of Honor, given annually to the most outstanding senior athletic scholar at each school. This award is considered to be one of the most prestigious awards given to a graduating athlete. Another first for this team was the election of Joe Roberts as the first African-American team captain in Ohio State history. In addition to being outstanding athletes, this is a terrific group of men who to this day and enjoy an extremely close bond. Now let's introduce your 1960 Ohio State Buckeyes. First, team manager, Mike Soroche. Next, Gary Milliken. David Barker. Howard Nurse. Gary Gerhard. Bob Knight. Next, Dick Furry. Joe Roberts. Mel Noel. Jerry Lucas. Representing the late John Havlicek is his wife, Beth Havlicek. Representing the late Larry Siegfried is his wife, Tina Siegfried. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 1960. 